Yongbo RF 603 N3 2.4 GHz wireless flash trigger slash wireless shutter release transceiver kit for Nikon D90 slash D3100 slash D5000 slash D7000. Works as a wireless shutter release control to trigger your camera transceiver system. Works as a wireless flash trigger and receiver each RF603 is designed to work as trigger and is receiver compatible with Nikon. D90 slash D3100 slash D5000 slash D7000 series cameras for shutter release control includes 2 RF603 transceivers, 1 N3 shutter release cord. Style. International warranty The brand new RF603 is a remote shutter release as well as a multifunctional radio flash trigger which can synchronously trigger flashes and studio strobes. Through the transceiver based system each item can be used flexibly as a trigger or a receiver. Only two AAA batteries are required as power source for each item. The 2.4 GHz wireless frequency is suitable in most countries and guarantees high speed distance and stability. Within Capacious Arisk the remote control distance may reach to 100 meters. The synchronization speed can reach to 1 slash 320 C depending on the situation it may reach to 1 over 250 or less. A set consists of two equal transceivers. Both of them can be a receiver as well as transmitter. It can trigger one flash with one set, since one serves as trigger, and one as receiver. You can also buy additional transceivers, to trigger two or more flashes at the same time. Includes, 2, RF603 transceivers, 1, N3 shutter release cord, Let me start by saying that this product works just like the manufacturer says it does this is an affordable solution for those of you looking to trigger your camera remotely using a radio transmitter or fire off strobisk speed lights and or flashes with a wireless transmitter this unit's a transceiver which means they can act as transmitter or receiver one thing to keep in mind. I have tested this using a Nikon D7000 and a Nikon D90. I tested each camera independently with the following speed lights, Nikon SB700 CSB800 CSB900. The speed lights fired every time. I also fired the camera remotely using the same setup. I put one on the hard shoe in the camera and another in the speed light as normal. The funny thing is that, if you connect the supplied wire from the camera to the transceiver, when you press the shutter in the camera it fires the speed light and vice versa. When you press the test button in the transceiver, attached to the speed light it fires the camera and the speed light You can't ask for more on this price range this setup is not TTL. You have no wireless control about the speed light power from the camera. You have to set your speed light to manual mode, and adjust the power setting to whatever you need. This will fire the speed light in sync to the highest sync speed of your camera. In the Nikon D7000 is 1 slash 250 C faster than that, and you will get the expected black bar on the bottom of the frame, if you are framed horizontally. That also means of course that it doesn't support FP high speed sync. All things I can live with, because when I need one I typically don't need the other. I'm still using the Nikon CLS, but it's nice to have this kind of range and capability, if you need it for this price. If you absolutely need this feature at Go see Pocket Wizard they have your solution for $219 to $199 a pop. I got 6 of this puppies for all my speed lights and both my cameras. You can't beat it for the price. 
if you are contemplating the possibility of buying on it go right ahead you won't feel bad about it this is an awesome price for these capabilities. You have a PC connection and that gives you extra flexibility in case you want to hook them up to a strobe Brit April 27 C 2012 update hello Alk this is an update to add a few things. These transceivers are still working great. I have purchased the more advanced Pocket Wizard Flex TT5 flash triggers to my bag o tricks. I purchased 3 of them for now. I'm not writing this here to brag, but to tell you how you can still use these Yondo RF603s along with the PW stuff why in the world would he want to do that I know right crazy talk keep reading. The PW Flex TT5 system has a drawback. That has been well identified throughout the several training videos in their website and others. The flex system is not able to trigger the camera remotely, while maintaining TTL communication between camera and flash is faster than one frame every two seconds. That may not be a problem for most people, but I always try to work around tech problems, even if they don't affect me. Now that way I have an answer for when it bites me in the future the way I did it was assembling the PW with camera and flashes as PW recommends. And then when all of that was done and all Jismas were talking to each other I proceeded to hook up the Yang No receiver to the camera via the GPS port as usual. I left it dangling from the camera, and used another Yang No transceiver to trigger. It worked flawlessly. It was triggering as fast as I wanted with no noticeable delays. Notice that I never hooked up the Yang No gear with the PW gear. The only way the Yang No transceiver is hooked up to the camera is by the N3 cable as recommended by Yang No. This way you have radio TTL remote flash triggering along with radio camera triggering Brit anyone worried about RF interference it's a valid concern. I looked at both operating frequencies and the PW, FCC USA version, operates between 340 to 354 MHz see the Yang No RF 603 operates at 2.4 GHz. The amount of space in the RF spectrum is so far apart that, unless the devices are physically touching each other there should not be any interference or frequency drift. This is my opinion and experience this information has not been professionally tested in a lab under controlled conditions. Benefits from this setup, main lick no delay between shutter press and camera triggering. Radio triggering on both systems no line of sight issues. You leave camera in tripod and flashes in light stands, and keep your young low trigger in your hand, while working in a studio or on location. It also means, that you don't have to buy an expensive PW radio to just trigger your camera. If you drop your young low trigger and it breaks is about $37 for a pair as opposed to $200 or so for a PW flex. I tried this setup with a Nikon D700 Nikon D7000 alongside my speed lights, SB700 CSB800 and SB900. I also own Yang Lo and 560 flashes, about $65 each, and I use them as kickers and trigger them with the built-in optical slave. Yes while all the Nikon flashes fire in TTL. The Yang Lo flashes have two modes for optical, main flash and M2 where the flash ignores the TTL pre-flash. Now this is what I call harmony across my entire camera bag. I don't like bickering inside the camera bag. While I sleep at night Jan 8 C 2013 update works with the Nikon D600 to Brit enjoy Rob.